Number 10. We'll start things off with Lonnie Love. Hey, Chris. We love having comedians in the buzz. She was full of energy and jokes like this. You like Kim Kardashian? Well, no, sometimes. See, don't but... hate on Kim Kardashian. She has hired more black men in the federal government. I like <laughs> Kim Kardashian. Right on. Number nine. We did a feature on Stipe Miocic, who still works as a firefighter in Independence despite being a full-time UFC fighter. This man is the best hope to do what the Indians, Browns, and Cavs haven't, bring a championship to Cleveland. I remember to be a guy from Cleveland that brought home a championship and break that curse. First thing I would do is bring that belt home and walk through Cleveland and say we did it. Number eight. The Hunger Games was one of the most anticipated films of the year, and when I sat down with the stars in Los Angeles, we reenacted the moment Josh Hutcherson found out he was cast. We kind of go through that phone call that you got. Ring, ring. I ring, ring. A couple of times. Three times always. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Josh. It's, yeah. It's Chris, your agent. Uh, Chris. It, it, I'm, I'm, okay, yeah. Yeah, congratulations, you got the job. That was the reaction. Number seven. The Wayans brothers, Sean and Marlon, danced their way into the buzz and tried to figure out who I look like. And he Shout looks like Ben it. Stiller. Oh, okay. And Zoolander with the blue steel. Mm. Give me a blue steel. And blue steel. There it goes. That's Not him. <laughs> Pretty good? Yeah. yeah. Number six. When Cleveland's own Drew Carey came back to town for a visit, we chatted about everything, including The Price is Right. Were you saying you would be like the ultimate contestant on The Price is Right? I would, you better get out of my way if I'm on the contestant's row, man. Cause I, I'll, I'll, I'll one dollar somebody, I would do anything. What if it was you next to Bob Barker? Oh, he would kill me. Number five. I had the pleasure of sitting down with Tyler Perry in Los Angeles to talk about the fun he had shooting Alex Cross in our city. Cleveland was so fantastic. I didn't know, I had no idea. I wanted to shoot my next movie there. So to spend time there and get out and see the place and shoot in different areas, I was really, really blown away. Not, not a fan of the snow, but, but I'm, summers and spring is amazing. Number four. We were the only Cleveland TV station to report live from both the Oscars and the Grammys. We got love for everybody. It's all about the music. We talked to a plethora of stars there and joked with Grammy nominee Weird Al Yankovic about losing. I had this weird idea that Adele might win in my category. I don't, <laughs> call me crazy. So you lose to Adele, who's probably gonna win like two or three or four others I would, tonight. I, I would think most of the people in this room are gonna lose to Adele <laughs> at some point today. I'm not even nominated, I'm gonna lose no, to Adele yeah, tonight. Compared to her, you're definitely a loser, yes. <laughs> Number three. After five movies and making more than two and a half billion dollars worldwide, the Twilight Saga came to an end this year. Oh my. I flew to Los Angeles to reflect on the series with the entire cast. What is the one question that you get asked the most? You ready for this? Have I, uh, have I stolen any mementos from set? Do I have anything? Did I, did I take anything from set? I don't know why. That's the question? Or, or, how does it feel, Taylor, that this is all coming to an end? Is it a bittersweet feeling? You know? Oh, oh, is that, uh, is that on the card over there? <laughs> <laughs> Number two. When Cheryl Underwood from CBS's The Talk came onto the buzz, she took over completely. Record all of this! A segment that was supposed to be a minute and a half in length turned out to be five and a half minutes of absolute craziness. Everybody don't have dogs. Yep. Them Anything other, could happen. Them in other the stations buzz. is telling the weather by looking out the window. You got Doppler. <laughs> Gangster. And now the number one buzz moment of 2012. It was a dream come true for me to go one on one with one of my childhood idols, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I make dreams come true. I talked with him backstage at a WWE event at the Q, where, in true rock fashion, he mocked me. It's pretty good, man. Not bad? Yeah. yeah. If The Rock says it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. But I kind of said, you know, it's pretty good, man. I kind of oh, said it like that. Like you, yeah. said it, you set it up. Yeah. It's pretty it's good. good. No, it's good. It's pretty good. Really good. Good for a guy like you.